my pretties, how are you? Now I've already tried to do this video once and then of course when it was uploading I cancelled out of it because I am a silly bajilly bajilly. So anyway, I wanted to do part two of my um, art book collection etc video. Last thing you saw was the Attack of the Radosaurus work that I've done and it's slipping. It's a, um, a two layer work. Let me do it. There you go. It's a two layer work and um, it's on foam core and perspex. So you'll see they separate. Um, basically, it is done um, using paint pens. So the first layer is this, which is all patterned up and psychedelic and crazy and cool. And um, that was done using Posca pens. These are amazing. They are a perfect tool if you are wanting, uh, if you paint and you draw and you kind of want to combine the two. Um, they come in really awesome colours as well um, and they're just heaps of fun. Like I discovered them sort of mid to end of last year and I'm really enjoying working with them. Um, they come in all sorts of sizes. I've, I use, um, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but kind of look the same, but I use um, this tip which is a, a dunno, dunno, but that's that, and then I use the bigger tip, which is a little bit thicker, and they come from tiny tiny to way big mamma jammery, just giant ones that are like massive, but they, they're not, well, they're big, but you know, like, they're not like as big as the moon or anything, um, anyway, and then the second layer, is uh, this all oh, clean perspex? Um, sorry for the reflection. That has then been painted over top um, in black acrylic paint um, with a really tiny paintbrush. So I actually painted on this because I kind of wanted, like, I didn't want to do it all in Posca. I kind of wanted to have a little bit different feel, and I never haven't really painted acrylic on perspex. So it was a bit of a challenge, and anyway, so that was really fun. So, um, so yes, so that is the Attack of the Radosaurus, and there's a little bit, of, um, you know, closer detail of it. So, um, so yeah, I just came up with the idea to have a giraffe eating an airplane in the sky, because, you know, it, like, happens all the time. Okay, and then I just wanted to show you a couple of other artworks that I have, um, in my apartment that are quite big, but I wanted to see what you guys think. So, I'm on my laptop, unfortunately. It is an ideal. This is the, um, oh there we go, this is um, a painting that I did, aerosol and acrylic painting that I did a couple of years ago, um, maybe two years ago, and it's quite large, um, I really like it, it's sort of just bigger than, oh, A2, a, it's maybe A1-ish, anyway, in size, um, so yeah, so it's done with spray paint cans, um, which I've done to sort of blend in the background and then um, acrylic paint over the top so it was just kind of crazy and bored one day and I actually really enjoyed how it turned out um, so that was awesome and then um, I'll bring you down here um, this is sort of my <laughs> little random corner in our, my apartment which just has my stuff you'll see Pinky over there, she's my mannequin that I use when I um, take photos of all the printed t-shirts and stuff that I do. There's a couple of um, other aerosol paintings, probably done in the same week. They are the same colours. Um, and then they were just um, just cute little stenciled paintings. I just had some spare um, time and spare canvases. And then down here is... Oh, 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 I can't really get quite the width of it, but this is... Oh, there's my hair in the way. This is a... Um, one of my biggest works, or is my biggest work, there we go, um, it is a screen print on wood and I also built a frame around it so it's got a bit of a depth to it. It is a two colour processed um, screen print and this was done with massive screens, silk screens, um, you know usual sizes sort of A3, these were done with massive massive ones. Um, so it was a work that I did back in New Zealand and then my second year of visual arts when I was first exploring the um, the idea of the subculture of dance music and stuff. So um, so yeah, so that's it. And then um, 
I will whoa, I'll bring you back down. I've also got um, under my table where I did my um, little video down there. Um, you'll see there's a couple of prints and stuff. There's a whole load down there that I want to show you guys. So I'm going to do a video on that another time when I have some time. And um, please appreciate my luscious peacocky eyes. I just uh, did these before when I was thinking about how I wanted to look in my video. That's really weird. I'm really weird. I'm going to go. All right. Well, everybody have a really cool weekend and um, stay classy. Okay, bye.